All right, guys, you got me first thing in the morning. The bedhead. We're gonna try Light Your Frontier, which is a game preview on the uh, Game Pass. I'm playing it on my Series X this morning, um, and uh, giving this a shot. It popped up uh, a couple months back, probably right around the time I was getting started with Enshrouded. I remember eyeballing this and going, "I'm gonna give this a shot." I don't, th I don't think this has any combat. I think it's just crappy survival, like a chill. It's got very chill music as you hang out in the intro. I, I can dig it. I'm thinking this is like what one of your little farm settlements can look like. So you're essentially, I think you're a terraformer, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to find out here in a minute. Farm event. Cool stuff. So there's a multiplayer mode. It's cool. And localized support, everybody. This was impressive to me. I went into the settings to change the audio earlier. And right at the very top, the very first option you come to is language. And you can go through. They've got uh, German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, I, Japanese, Chinese, Korean maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, Polish? Brazilian? Russian? Right? Yeah. I, 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 I don't. Sorry. We have probably Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I'm not sure what else. Um, but they've got full language support for everything. And I, I think that's impressive because not enough games do localized support. It's one of the things that's frustrating to me um, when I want to try to play something with Chris because not every game does localized. And her English is good, but she, she always prefers to play with Spanish on if she can. Um, like her best experience today I think has been like World of Warcraft because it's all in Spanish like the voiceovers like it, it made her feel immersed but language is a big first step for data stuff so I was really impressed that they had language um, in here right away uh, but there's lots of other options you can check single player multiplayer let's dive in to do a first impressions everybody let me move my yoga mat Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll stand up for this one for, for now. Start new game. Yeah, I don't care about the name of the world. <laughs> it's, it's a cutesy little art style, yeah? Earth's no good anymore. Some like you have taken off for the light year frontier. You want a fresh start, a new home. Oh. Why would you... What? <laughs> okay. Oh, hang on. Alright, so we are here. Oh, I need to turn that up. Please, can I? Settings. Yeah, let's... Let's put up to 30 and see what it feels like. That's too high. Okay. down to 20. That still might be a little too much. Let's play with this for a little bit and see. That's not too bad. Alright. That's 
sprint. Let's jump. Left pad, right pad, up, down. No tools selected. No tools selected. There's a radio. Okay. Visually, it's it's got a cool little art style to it, right? First person. It's bold. Bold move, sirs. Whoop, suddenly I... The PICK axe can <laughs> the pickaxe can break tree stones and other materials. Grab and strike. Oh, oh! I didn't mean to do that. I did it in the wrong direction. Okay. Press LT and LT to launch items at the mech. Okay, so let's try that again. Boom. Boom. Okay, that's a really weird way to do it. How, how direct do I have to be, I wonder? Oh, some of them made it, some didn't. Okay, this is an odd way of doing things, but alright. Now, I wonder how many bundles I can grab. grab quite a few. That's interesting. Oh, but then they do that and scatter and only one of them made it. So there's colliders that you have to worry about with the fibers. Okay. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting through. That was quite the tumble you took there. Luckily, your biometrics tell me you're A-OK. -okay. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. Okay. I've been throwing resources at her for a bit. Farming in you. I, I threw that very incorrectly. I totally have it here. Yet the arm connected. Why won't the head connect? The head's got to be up here. Well, I'm at a loss why the head won't attach. right here I'm gonna go look this up folks and see oh never mind I'm an idiot 
Hold up. Did you see what I, I didn't see this yet just now? There's this spot that's highlighted. I never saw that. It There should be a pop-up. There needs to be a pop-up that says... Like, shows a screenshot and says... Now, let me drop this so there's not that humming in the background. There, there needs to be a, a, a pop-up or a screenshot or some sort of video clip tutorial that's in-game that goes, Hey, here's a good time to learn about blah. When you pick up this, insert it here, look for the highlighted area to know where to put it. And other stuff, just chuck at it. Because what they'd shown me so far is just throw things at it. And it, so I was throwing. I'm an idiot. Now flip that sucker sunny side up and hop in. We've got a planet to explore. Dude, everyone's ever everyone's always wanted to do mech stuff once in a while. Oh, now we get a different camera view. Oh, and now there's a third person. Oh uh, well. We're doing first person for a while. Alright. Find the spike saw, find the sprout cannon, find the vacuum harvester, find the seed shooter, find the irrigation hose. Do I have any waypoints whatsoever? I don't. Unless the plumes of smoke are things? Excuse my manners. One kind of stops expecting yes after 200 years. Name's PIP3R. That's Piper for short. Up there in the sky. That blinking dot is yours truly. But enough introductions. Let's get you situated and make you at home. It, 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 okay, they are going to be the yellow plumes of smoke. Okay. The vacuum harvester gathers water and plants and can destroy weeds. I got a recipe when I got the seeds. To the other things. Okay. Next clue is smoke. It never ceases to amaze. That magnificent mech. Those high powered tools. And even that ship of yours. The farm mech project really was extraordinary. Such a shame that it got cancelled in the end. Can you jump? Yep, and there's like a meter. Oh, so you can do like, like a boost jet, like a boost pack thing. Got it. Looks like a third person. Nice. New quest just popped up, build a place to sleep. Sprout cannon. Plants sprouts in the ground. Switch tool. Uh huh. It always puzzled me why Earth was so quick to give up on the farm mech project, sending us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for hospitable planets. That was no small feat. Desperate times, I suppose. That's the green blinking dot, so that's who's talking to me. Okay.
these are all kind of the same distance away, so. looks really cool right now with the lighting. This will be to cut down trees probably. It's effective against stones and minerals. does way more against the trees. Gotcha. Then we can switch the tool. Gather up everything we missed. Switch the tool. Or you can also just go straight here and switch it. Well, abandoning the Latium frontier for Mars does make some sense. It was a lot closer and would sustain Earth's population, at least for a while. Good to know. Alright. I think we're good on that. Um, where's the next... Over this direction. Uh, looks like we might need to go up. to restore Pine Heights. What is this? Jump? What happens if I jump? Oh, the slime slows you down. Irrigation hose. Waters plants and the noxious slime. I do have limited amounts of water. It says remove noxious slime and weeds to restore a region. 
see we're getting progress. Okay. Just think about the thousands of people who initially came to the frontier, taking a chance on this one-way trip, only to get abandoned. But for generations, they've managed to thrive here. Your neighbors are quite tenacious, huh? Destructible does that, but why didn't that work? I guess you can't do anything with that one. Alright, we got one more. I don't know how to just I don't know how to destroy weeds. Oh. Those count? Uh-oh, what just happened? Oh, a day passed. Okay, so there's passage of time. Now it's raining. Hey, keep waiting, keep partner. Those new meth parts made a world of difference. The best looking ride in the frontier for sure. Alright, we still need to find a seed shooter, it says. So I guess if you roll your if you roll your mech, you have to get out. What's the red thing right there? Oh, that's the it's that seed thing. water bed. Alright. So now I'm full up for the other tool that I've got, right? It's irrigation hose. Yeah, now it's got 50. Alright. I can't go in there. Here's the meadows. There's the seed shooter. Alright, seed shooter plants seeds in mounds. Look, I know you weren't sent here for a mission that's been cancelled for nearly two centuries. You probably found that ship in a scrap heap somewhere and took off a greener pasture, right? No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just happy to finally have some company. Alright, we need to restore Pine Heights, build a place to sleep, build a workshop shed. Build a small plot. Um, I've got water over here. I mean, honestly, tucked away right over here wouldn't be a bad spot. Or just right up in here, even. It'd be really ideal to just build something right here. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. All right, it says B. This brings up your mission to... Okay. So these are the... This is the crafty menu. You can still move while you're in here, okay? Crafting constructs. Crafting essentials, storage, home, wooden fence, campfire. 
sharp shed. Hang on. So we need to build a place to sleep. And then a workshop shed. Well, a place to sh sleep. Would be the tent. So select. Okay. I want to rotate it. Which one's the opening? That's the opening. Or is that? I think it's this because it's got like a zipper. So let's put it up here against the water. And build. And then if I leave the menu. So is it built? Oh. You have to add things to it. Add max. Boom. We built a small little home. Okay. Here come the achievements, baby. Um, next up is build a workshop shed. So, okay, I'm going to need wood. Okay, that's fine. So I can create the mission. I can, I can. That's big. That is really big. Figure, figure you out a bit. I need more wood. So we need to go over here to our woodcutter. Fiber. Oh, there we go. There's an over and covered message. Build a small plot, build a workshop. So that shed was huge. What the plot? Let's do the plot. Those are all quite big, my goodness. The tent is so small and then these things are like, boom. Valid slope, I know what it says. There we go. And build. Max. There we go. Plant a seed in a mound. I can do that. Too big? Oh, seed shooter. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so you can do... All right, the control here is a bit wonky. All right, so we planted all of those. Then we can build a shed. I think we need more wood though. Oh, wait, I can plant, what is this? Yellow tree sprout. Um, yeah, let's put it here and decorate my home. A little bit more shade. Yeah?
It'd be cool to watch that little thing grow. All right, build a shed. How much wood do I need? I just need two more wood. We don't cut that one down. It's so close to the house. Oh, it's probably because of all the rock I've got in my inventory. should make things easier. Alright. Build an oil presser inside the shed. Um, I do need the rock. I'm supposed to put this into the center or something. It like snaps. I can go free mode. I see. That's free mode. And build. Let's deposit the stone. Let's get some more wood. We'll do this and then we'll go to sleep it says. Craft oils. I'm not gonna do that right now. I want to go to sleep. See what happens. How do I use it? Exit the Merc. The Mac of the Merc. How do I use the small tent? Ooh, what is this? There's the small tent. How do you how do you sleep though? Oh, I guess you just click this then click this. I'm stupid. Day 3 and more tasks. And we rinse and repeat. Hope you had a good night's sleep. I did have a good night's sleep. I can't stop admiring those nice decorations you built yesterday. You've really got an eye for that kind of thing. So it's just a cute, cozy little crafting game. I can dig it. There are people out there who love, 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 love this theme. Um, I am... I, I need RPG elements to mine. So like, I really like Enshrouded because it's got skill trees and more of a narrative, right? And then Robin Hood, Sherwood Builders was RPG with a huge skill tree and crafting and, and, and you know, more narrative. And I kind of like that a little bit more than this. My first impressions are is that people who like these little chill crafting games are gonna really, really, really love this. There's nothing bad here. There's no fat on this bone, man. This thing is lean. Pretty simplified UI. Um, a, a, a little bit of confusion on my part from a couple of the control choices and things, like just now trying to figure out how to use the tent. Um, that's probably more user error than anything else. Look, the little tree has sprouted. So it's growing up now. That's cool. And you do it all from a mech, which I know some people love. 
So, overall, I would say that is an extremely pleasant first impressions. I won't be playing it only because I don't have any room on my plate right now for crafting games. This is just one of those trying out, seeing if it's worth recommending to people. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm still pretty deep into Enshrouded though, and that's that's the only one I have time for at the moment in terms of the, the crafting games. But yeah, great first impressions. I think if you like these kind of games, you should try it out. It's on Game Pass right now uh, as a game preview. So I was playing this today on my Series X. Check it out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams here and on Twitch. I play a lot of games. Check them out. There's playlists. There's a Patreon if you want to get into my sci-fi and fantasy work as an author. And there's a Discord if you want to come hang out with our community. See you next time, everybody.